Hello everybody, welcome back to the second channel. Today I'm joined by Curtis. How? How? How am I joined by you? Yeah, how are you doing this? Today I've cast a magical summoning spell on Curtis, uh, <laughs> and that's how I'm looking at him right now. Yeah, I was taking a shit before, and then I just sort of in my chair with headphones on talking to you. So thanks for that. Yeah, and thank you for that. Oh shit. You don't have a sparkling water, do you? Do you have one? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, I think it's downstairs. Well, I have a mug. Maybe we could lie to the audience and say that there's sparkling water in there. Maybe it does have sparkling water in it and maybe, maybe, well, maybe it does. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So today, um, we've got kind of a special topic because we've both, in a sense, gone viral. Both have viral infections, and it's it's not looking good. Yes, I sort of have E. coli. And I have E. coli. A couple weeks ago, I, like, streamed on Twitch, and I guess somebody clipped a portion of the stream where Curtis joined in the chat, and you said something. I forget what I said, actually, but, you know, it was probably something probably funny. All right, well, basically, long story short, you came into the chat. I delivered this absolutely incredible delivery of a line that was so incredible that basically it had no choice but to go viral on TikTok. Okay, so this has really gone to your head. Sort of incredible, revolutionary um, <laughs> monologue of sorts that I delivered. I wouldn't call it that, sir. I would not call it a monologue. It was like maybe like 10 words. Uh -huh. And you didn't even... Post it, someone else posted it to TikTok. Can we talk about that for a second? How fucked up is that? I made a video like two years ago trying to go viral with a sound on TikTok. I oh, made yeah. a whole ass song. I made a whole ass alter ego. And you know how many people made a sound with my TikTok? Was it like 2,000 or, or like 10,000 or something like that? Yeah, I think it was like 2,000 people <laughs> made it. And that was probably mostly because they felt bad for me. And then some schmuck, some yeah. absolute sh Joe Schmo, Greg Goodentown on TikTok. They're stealing all your stuff. They're stealing all my stuff. They've got clips of you on here. What the fuck is going what on the here? Hell's going Just on? act like we've never heard of fan accounts before. <laughs> They're stealing our shit. I didn't post this. It's not me. Yeah, first off, the, this this TikTok of me, the original one with the sound has like 5 million views. But yeah, I think that's pretty fucked up that I put in all that work and then I just offhandedly say something on stream one time. <laughs> and look at it now, it's got 32,000 videos. That's so many videos. So I guess let's go ahead, let's watch the first one. Curtis is here? Curtis. Get the fuck out of here. It's so crazy how tick, you could just say one offhanded thing and then TikTok like changes it into so many other things. It's it's pretty impressive. Right, yeah. Like I wasn't I wasn't delivering this thinking like, oh shit, this is gonna be the most versatile <laughs> line <Right>. ever. <laughs> it's even funnier considering the fact that I made that video those all those years ago, because like I put in so much work and this is like on Twitch, and I also like use this really shitty webcam <laughs> that I have from like 2012. And so like and the audio is coming from there too, so the audio like sounds really bad also. It's like right. This, it's right when you stop trying is when you pop off so we should give we should just give up yeah i think i'll just record the rest of my videos on like a flip phone camera from 2006 <laughs> prop up an lg chocolate or something and and just go to town <laughs> yo lg chocolate did you have one of those no oh i wished i had one of these yeah they were cool i also really wanted a motorola pebble oh i forgot about the pebble yeah these shits were Whoa. pretty slick my aunt had one of these <laughs> yeah. and i was mad jealous yeah <laughs> jealous of your aunt's phone and i still am to this day dude she's got the coolest fucking <laughs> phones it's still the motorola pebble curtis is here curtis Get the fuck out of here. I was hoping we'd see the dog. <laughs> yeah, that does seem like uh, an important detail. It's like, I want to see this dog with human eyes. Yeah, I'm dying to see that, actually. Yeah, this person said dog reveal, and it's like one of the most liked comments. Uh -huh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> the dog's like trying to scratch its eyes out. Why have I been cursed with these? Yeah, you know how <laughs> human eyes are like dark, beady, black spheres? Yeah. <laughs> it would have been funnier if it was like human hands. And then we go to the other video and the dog just has legit. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the, what the creepiest human body part for a dog to have would be. I mean, like teeth would be really yeah. weird. Like a, a butt? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty weird. Balls. I mean, like dogs have balls. No, no, it'd be <laughs> pretty do. weird if they had balls. They do have balls. Curtis is here? 
Curtis. Get the fuck out of here. Um, can relate. Yeah, facts. Is 4'11", like, a, gr a great height? I've never All been right. like, oh, I wish I had a 4'11", naturally pretty, flirty girl. Who uh, doubles as an hourglass. Flip her upside down and a bunch of sand falls out of her. But yeah, this is a problem that a lot of people have. Even whenever I was, like, just talking to you and we were hanging out recently, when I'm trying to talk to, like, a guy, and then just, like, this little, short, hourglass girl shows up and it's like, can you just get the fuck? I'm trying to talk to my buddy, you know? Yeah, and she's, like, transparent. You can see sand flowing <laughs> through her body. <laughs> Your time is almost up. Get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Curtis is here? Curtis, get the fuck out of here. Whoa, does that happen? I would imagine so. I feel like I've had instances like this because you know how it shows when someone else is in the Google Doc? I was like never in s school when Google Doc were like a thing, I guess. I never used them in school. So this is, I don't even know what the fuck is going on right now and I'm sort of freaking out about it. Yeah, it seems like you're really having some sort of like midlife crisis or something. <laughs> Back in my day, this would never fucking fly. Yeah, teachers would never watch you do your work. We'd be at school <laughs> and they would blindfold themselves every time we, we got to work. Yeah, well, I would blindfold. That'd be so boring. <laughs> you gotta have nothing else going on to be a teacher and like spy on your kids doing the work. And I know yeah. how much teachers don't cool. like grading home work because I'm friends with people who are teachers and they're like that shit's the worst so to be right. like before I even get to grading it I'm gonna like watch my student do their homework <laughs> live grading let's see what the kids are saying about this because maybe we'll learn a little something about today's you one time I typed hi ma'am and she left god damn I never saw her again one time I typed hi ma'am and she skipped town we had a <laughs> substitute teacher the next day and for the rest of the year yeah the skull emoji implies that she like died or something she left this plane of existence <laughs> I typed hi ma'am and unfortunately Unfortunately, she did pass away. <laughs> she did not make it. And when they start correcting your work, that's when you start running. All right. Oh shit. This has a content warning for shadow figures. What the fuck? What are shadow figures? Do you want to skip this one out? No. I want to. I want to find out what shadow figures are. Twelve-year-old me having a sleep paralysis. Curtis is here. <laughs> Curtis. Damn, it's a dapper dude right there. Yeah. <laughs> sort of absolutely swagged out. Tipping his fedora. Yeah, exactly. My shadow figure. <laughs> He's a barista from 2011. Curtis is here? My lady. I feel like it doesn't quite fit the trend because it has to be like, at first you're like, Curtis, like you're yeah, happy you're to happy. see them and then you're like, get the fuck out of here. Maybe you are happy at first? Oh, hat man. Is this like a reoccurring character in people's like sleep paralysis? Oh yeah, That's the top right. comment is he kind of fresh, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was trying to see if there's any other comments that are like, oh yeah. Oh. Hatman yeah. from my dreams. Look at look at the second one. Why is this the second video in a row of him? I forgot about him and I'm scared to go asleep now. Me and the Hatman yeah. tight dog. Sometimes I'd be taking 32 Benadryl just to talk to him. I've never Who? seen a Hatman. <laughs> Who the fuck is Hatman? <laughs> Who is Hatman? People know this guy. You know that song, The Scat Man? Uh huh. Maybe it's sort of a, like a reimagining of that. I'm the Hatman. You wake up to just. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be pretty upset too. Whoa, this person's getting gender envy from Hatman. Yo, honestly, I get it. I searched Hatman and he's on the villain's wiki. Oh yeah, I see. I see the villain's wiki. He's an evil doer. What if that's all it said on the wiki? Hatman is an evil doer. Oh no, I guess he just does evil. Why is Peter... Oh, all this popular pages. I thought it was related ones. It was Peter Griffin. <laughs> also an evil doer, Peter Griffin. Yeah, you know, there's a Hatman, family guy. Origin, folklore, occupation, should say barista or something, probably. Maybe tattoo artist <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Hobby tormenting people. Jesus Christ. I like that it has like goals and aspirations. Yeah. <laughs> His victims to death. Oh my God, dude. So where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, probably scaring my victims to death. <laughs> probably same shit I'm doing right now, honestly, scaring my victims to death. <laughs> Crimes, stalking and attempted murder. Well, I mean, he never, he never has gotten away with it. I guess that's kind of nice to know. It's like the worst till there was just try to kill you. You. He'll never go through with it though. He doesn't have the balls. I, I like that it says crimes. I don't know. This makes it seem like he's been prosecuted before. You know how they, uh, <clears throat> sometimes they have like behind, you stand behind a glass and there's like all the people you like and you try to pick the guy who did it. Um, yeah, I think it was the one shadow figure in here. I think it was him. <laughs> okay, well, this is almost more interesting than the TikToks, dude. Yeah, I could, we could talk about Hatman for the rest of the day, I think. I've heard about like an old hag that people see when they have sleep paralysis. Have you heard about that? You've heard about an old hag? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> That's like another thing people see when they have sleep paralysis. I haven't heard of that. I've heard talks of, of an old hag. I've heard murmurs of this sort of old hag. I was unaware that there was like reoccurring characters that people share. About old hag syndrome. Uh, oh, yeah, I think you should ask scary. your mom about this. Ooh. She's got old hag syndrome. You asshole. <laughs> that was so mean. Yeah, she does. How did you know that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen that painting. This one? Yeah, because they like sit on your chest. Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought it was the same type of thing where they stand in the corner of your room. I didn't realize it was this kind of freaky. <laughs> Why is she wearing some like Fashion Nova fucking like one piece thing? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous leotard. <laughs> yeah, what is she doing sweet. right here too? She's calling yeah. to her homie. Yo, hat man, get over here, dude. Yo, there's tons of space on this chick. Okay, some of these do not look like old hags, I gotta say. Especially this one. If you woke up in the <laughs> middle of the night and this thing was on your chest, would you be like, oh no, it's it's an old hag. Yeah, what kind of grand grandmother do you have? Looks just like my old lady. This old hag has the same mustache as me. Yeah. They should nice. rename this this uh, evil demon to the old Kurt. The old Gigal Kurt syndrome. Dude, when you're trying to sleep but a 4'11 girl comes <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Okay, well, that was an odd departure from the TikToks, but let's get back to yeah. the TikToks. Curtis is here? Curtis. Get the fuck out of here. Damn. That one was kind of different. That had a storyline to it. So they're saying that when they say hello to guests, they don't respond, and that makes them sad. Also, is I this guess... guy okay? Does he have like a gash in his eye or something? Oh, yeah. It's probably from that fall. Do oh, you think it was from him falling at the end of the TikTok? <laughs> yeah, maybe he filmed that part first, and he's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to film the other parts. He's all bruised and bloody. He hit his head so hard that he forgot he already filmed the first part, so he's like, I got to do that part again. Hey, look. Oh, I know these uh, girls. Right. They yeah, have a picture with you. Do you remember meeting them? I do. Yeah, they were really nice. I remember they, they walked up to the meet and greet and they were like, yes, Curtis, you are seeing double. And it was really funny. I love that. They had it all planned out. And I don't know why I look like that in the picture. I look like an old hag. <laughs> you sort of got old hag syndrome in this photo. This is their sleep paralysis, dude. Well, let's see what they have to say about you being there. I'm sure it's probably nice. Curtis, get the fuck out of here. Hey, what the heck? I didn't know they were gonna say that. You know what I wanna talk about? I wanna talk about your TikTok. Now listen, before I even got a chance to make a TikTok with my own freaking viral sound, I see I that- it. You what? I headhunted it. You headhunted my sound. That's what I was going to say, exactly. <laughs> and you made a TikTok with it. So now I'm going to review it right before your eyes. Curtis is here? Curtis. Get the fuck out of here. Did you get it? Did I get it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I got it because Curtis was here. And then he was getting the fuck out of here. I mean, honestly, I guess, you know, it works. And then uh, somewhere is in here is mine, I think. Oh, yeah. Curtis. Get the fuck out of here. I was seeing some comments that were like, is it just me or did Danny's face get red at the end? Cause I use like a filter that makes my face get really big and red, but like only a few right. people noticed for some reason. People thought you just did that naturally. Yeah, like my head grew to twice Jeez. its normal size <laughs> and I became plump and red as a tomato. Like a cartoon, there's smoke coming out of your ears too. Why did he turn red? I don't know, lol. I don't know, man. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I love when people comment, I don't know, on, on like, TikTok. <laughs> hey, I just thought I'd chime in here for a second and say I have no fucking clue. Could have just not said anything. But I know it'll be really helpful for you to know that I also <laughs> don't know. But I think the best comment on this post is, Danny has always reminded me of Lily. Yeah, me too. And whoever they tag, it, like, really agrees with that also. <laughs> Who the fuck is Lily, dude? Now I gotta know. <laughs> they seem really mad. All right, well, let's go, let's go and watch the, uh, our grand finale TikTok that we made, which, I don't know about you, but this is like probably the most liked TikTok I've ever made, I think. It's funny because you said the thing and the sound went <laughs> viral. And then we filmed this together but, and we sort of edited it together, but you physically did the editing. But it's on my account still. <laughs> it's like I'm reaping all the benefits of this sound. But you know what? We had a compromise where we were like, I mean, we should both post a TikTok, so like, let's just make another one. And they'll probably get like around the same amount of likes, right? So <laughs> yeah. then it'll be even. So then we made this TikTok. Love with an emo girl. Love with an emo girl. 
And uh, your TikTok has 1.3 million likes and mine has 380,000 likes. Yeah, so pretty close. Let me just ask you for a sec. Does that seem fair to you? Hear me out for a sec. Uh-huh. You posted this and what? It got 1.2 million views. Yeah. And what? Mine got 1.3 million likes. That's the same number. So what's the issue? Same likes, same number of views. Okay. Yeah, no, you're, yeah, you're right. I mean, <laughs> I didn't think about it that way. I'm sorry, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for thinking of it that way. And you know what? I also did say I don't care who posts this because we both made it together. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have cared either. All right. Well, let's go ahead and watch this shit because this shit is honestly probably the funniest TikTok we've both ever made. Yeah, we're not going to beat it ever, I think. Curtis is here. Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know about you, but my favorite part of this TikTok, well, we've talked about this a lot, but is yeah. when I lift you off the ground and yeah. your toes like curl up a little. It's such an unnatural thing for a leg to do. For something to be lifted up by the neck with such force that their legs break. And there's like a bone cracking sound while it happens. I was looking at the footage from this and we did this like leg pull twice and the first one was actually more intense and I didn't use it for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah, like your feet also oh, like slam back on the door. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we should have used that one. It's like a director's commentary, but the ones that the first shot we did of you pushing my head against the door, I like smacked my head off the door hinge and it hurt so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see my face. Yeah, I just sort of fucking bashed your head on this hinge. <laughs> yeah, there's also one other little behind the scenes tidbit. In case you guys are wondering how we did Curtis's feet lifting off the ground, I came up with sort of the ingenious idea of this. Yeah, you just gotta, you put your hands in my jeans. Can I put my hands in your jeans? <laughs> yeah, that, and it worked. It, it. It worked pretty well. I know. I didn't see many people being like, why are... Because the thing I was worried about is your jeans look so baggy all of a sudden. But I didn't see any comments about that. I did see comments being like, why is Curtis wearing shoes all of a sudden? Because in the, the video where you're walking, you're not. <laughs> oh, really? Someone was like, Danny scared Curtis so hard that he put his shoes on or something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why this part makes you look like you're like three feet tall or something because your jeans are so baggy. Yeah, I'm the 4'11" friend that they warn you about and that's why i had to do what i did to you in this tiktok yeah that's a good that's a good ass tiktok and uh so i guess everything kind of worked out in the end and we were able to reap the clout from this viral mm -hmm. tiktok sound but i do have to tell you something that might blow your mind okay what if i told you that i did do this all along and this and that i actually did orchestrate this because this is my account I wouldn't believe and you. And so my lifelong dream of getting a viral TikTok sound is finally complete. I don't believe you, but I if you're if you're telling the truth, that's honestly very impressive. But okay, I do yeah, not no, it's you. that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it afterwards and I was like, oh, that would have been a sick idea. I should have done that. Damn, you just gaslight everyone into thinking that this was you. Right. No, the foresight to know that this was gonna be a viral TikTok sound would have been insane if I somehow was able to do that. So Yeah, that would have been some diabolical ass stuff right there yeah that would have been some hat man type shit yo i woke up i'm on, I'm on my hat man shit today dude. i woke up in hat mode <laughs> all righty well I, I i feel like that's pretty much pretty much good thank you for helping me review these tiktoks curtis no problem danny thanks for having me on and i think it's safe to say no one can ever use this sound ever again mm -hmm. it's been viral and it's done now all right well everybody make sure you go follow curtis yeah, I, I um, promise I am not an old hag and I will not sit on your chest in a beautiful one piece. And that's a, a promise that not a lot of YouTubers can give you. So go ahead <laughs> and hold on over to Curtis's channel and he will not sit on you in the middle of the night. Okay, bye. Thanks.